The FA project is very long-standing cooperation between the Nile Basin countries and the FAO with the cooperation from Italy, Italy, government of Italy. So when the FAO started, it was a very um, virgin region, no, um, no information, no data, and no knowledge. So the FAO came in order to fill this gap in the Nile Basin. And uh, the Nile Basin countries uh, accepted this uh, partnership and appreciated very much the effort had been done with FAO. FAO started with exploring the untapped potential of the Nile water in the Nile Basin and uh, started to draw maps for the potentialities, uh, land use, land cover, topography, meteorology, hydrology, the stream flow and uh, levels. It took us from uh, knowing nothing to another good stage, which is having a good data representing the Nile Basin countries. And from that stage, we went one more stage further, which is transferring this into knowledge, which came up with the communication products and knowledge product, products, which helps very well uh, with the planning, taking decision for how to do transboundary projects on water. And that's exactly the stage which we are now under the Nile Basin Initiative, that we are implementing projects on the ground and we received a huge support from FAO and uh, the Italy uh, cooperation. Uh, in addition to other development partners, all that together assisted us in reaching this point of development. Currently, under the Nile Basin Initiative, we have uh, investments cost about 950 million US dollars on the ground. Very important because it is filling the gap of knowledge. Uh, which none of our development partners is doing. Most of our development partners are willing to support the investment projects, but the investment projects needs data and information in order to be able to design and do the identification and preparation. So I have uh, to admit that with FAO project, we were able to identify what we have and uh, the potentialities of our region and know a lot of the information needed in order to do good preparation and identification of the projects. And we wish this will continue in the future because the needs of the countries are uh, various and uh, tremendous. They need to do a lot of investments and uh, development projects. It means the need for knowledge and information will not stop. It is a continuous process. We have built our knowledge base in the Nile Basin Initiative. We have a headquarter in Entebbe, Uganda. We have several other centers. So the development of the uh, knowledge base is already completed and we uh, nurtured a lot of information came from other sources and we are very willing today to hand for, from the FAO the products so we can take it back home and uh, share it with our countries. In addition to that, the uh, Nile Basin Initiative is uh, governed by uh, Council of Ministers of Water Affairs from the Nile Basin countries. Currently there are 10 countries, very soon there will be 11 countries by the membership of South Sudan. They endorsed in 2009 the uh, protocol for data and information sharing and exchange, and they endorsed also this year the uh, operational guidelines. It means we can legally share the data between all the countries, uh, ministries of water, agriculture, environment, and even the research centers and universities who are uh, interested in the water and the Nile issues. This will happen this year. Uh, you know, uh, for us, this is a, a success story. Uh, Italy has always maintained a foreign policy uh, that pay very much attention to areas where risk of conflicts are very high. The Nile Basin, uh, Basin is, of course, uh, an important area for us, where Italy has always played a very important role. By the way, I would like to underline that most of the 11 countries belonging to the Nile River Basin area are priority areas for the Italian cooperation uh, and will remain priority areas. Uh, we do have now, um, we are facing now uh, financial constraints, but on the other side, we are really focused our attention uh, on the need to, uh, to address and uh, to prioritize our efforts of the Italian cooperation. And I can assure that most of these countries are for us priority countries. 
Uh, moreover, I would like to uh, underline that we support regional cooperation programs. This is a very successful example, the Nile River Basin Initiative, because it is a very successful story of how to better uh, use uh, uh, the um, water scarce resource and how to uh, foster the cooperation uh, among the uh, 11 Nile Basin River countries. Uh, therefore, we support this kind of regional integration programs and uh, um, therefore the investment in this project uh, has been always a very significant uh, because it has and therefore we have given this contribution to the establishment of this initiative. Uh, you know, uh, Italy um, has always uh, stressed the importance to create uh, a hub of agricultural international uh, organizations uh, dealing no, with food security and agriculture and we are very proud to have FAO, IFAT and PAM uh, here in Rome, uh, therefore we always spend a lot of effort and uh, financial resources. For us, FAO is an open initial arm. Italy is still among one of the main donors of FAO and will remain because we really do uh, know that, appreciate that FAO is really uh, has the, um, the knowledge, the expertise, the human resources to cope with agriculture and food security. Uh, you have also to take into account that uh, we approved uh, recently the new guidelines of the Italian cooperation and food security and agriculture are for us main sectors. And also due to our financial co uh, constraints, we decided really to uh, prioritize to identify international uh, organizations which are ex uh, excellent in the field and we know that FAO is uh, the international uh, organization uh, with whom to collaborate and uh, you know we have still right now uh, 29 uh, pro ongoing projects with FAO just to underline uh, the importance we attach to the cooperation with FAO. We know that the management of transboundary waters will be the key challenge of the 21st century. And what we can learn from this Nile project is that we have to start collaborating with all countries right from the beginning. So it's not enough to provide only technical data. We have in parallel involve all the countries in capacity development and in bringing countries together. So we have to develop a platform where all countries along the River Nile can work together and this is the key lesson. If we go to other uh, areas of transboundary waters, collaboration among the countries is key. I'm convinced that the establishment of a platform of all countries along the River Nile can be used as a model also for other transboundary waters. So that the collaboration among the countries, the process of understanding each other better and the agreement on the key challenges is the basis and this could be used and this should be used also in other areas of the world. This was a, a very long project, duration of many years and uh, it was uh, taking a long time at the beginning to put together all the country to work on the same table have the opportunity to share the methodology. So at the beginning, there was a long, in, let's say, incubation phase where we needed to, to work together really to build the confidence and become like all uh, friends, all colleagues, and having the same motivation toward working together. While we were working then, the major findings that were coming out over time was basically the fact that as we had more data, more information, we were able to analyze and come out with some additional 
uh, processing additional insights and uh, option how to better optimize the water, how to save some of this water by sharing this information by finding a, let's say, a sort of dividing and uh, exchanging the benefit of certain option was at the end what came out. So by having that at the end, all the information together, we had a very nice vision and picture of what could be done in order to improve the situation. It was a progressive increase of uh, confidence building. At the beginning, there was not really good confidence. Imagine that one of the country was just there as observer. He didn't want to participate to the project. After one year, he became like the others uh, members. So the attitude toward the collaboration, toward sharing, toward understanding that uh, you really are in a condominium and you need to find the way to regulate. And uh, water is a, was a common uh, uh, resource and it couldn't be each country making their own development without accounting what the other country, neighbor country was doing. This would have completely blown up their individual plan. So they understood the value of the cooperation and over time now, you know, not only these people became friends, these people, but also politically the dialogue had been really much smoother than at the very beginning. This was a very important project for us because we have learned a lot. It's not only the, not only the country have benefited, we as FAO have benefited by understanding and, and building our own capacity when we talk about transboundary water. And interestingly, while we are finishing the Nile uh, Basin project, the Italian cooperation has provided funds, about $4.5 million, to address the lower Mesopotamia Basin, which is another transboundary situation. And definitely, we will go there with this strong uh, luggages of knowledge, of uh, information and experience that definitely will not start from scratch there. So I think definitely it will be very important for the next project.